with me, I'm Maribel, and I'm going to solve for you tonight the napkin dilemma. I'm pretty sure everybody has wondered once in their lifetime at least which napkin to use, right? So, I'm going to solve this for you. The problem is that there are thousands of different napkin styles in the world. They come with different patterns, as you can see, or plain colors, but all very beautiful. You can even fold them a little bit, give them a really nice shape and use some extra decoration like the flowers there. Or you can even use this old drying style. Some are made out of cloth and some of paper. But which one to use, right? Is there a right or a wrong way for this? So to answer this, I will need to back up a little bit to 1984, the year I was born. I was the second little girl in my family and I was born in Piura, that's in the north coast of Peru, the coast that lacks water. My interest in water came with the years, just because I was living there, and that interest made me travel a bit around the world. I was researching about wastewater treatment and how to reuse it, because I know, you know, there is a lack of water in the world. Up to this point, I always understood water as it's liquid, it's related to life. But it is when I came to Germany that I was reading a newspaper article and I read that one almond needs four liters of water. So my water that was liquid and wet and related to life was embedded in a very dry almond. And I started thinking, so I'm very proud of my nutrition habits, you know, and I tend to eat every afternoon a handful of almonds. So when I do this, 100 liters of water every single afternoon. So I didn't know that. I started panicking a bit and realized I'm doing this like, uh-huh. So there is water in absolutely everything around us. There is water on the floor, on the roof, on this table, on your chairs. Absolutely everything has needed water to be produced. So, who in the audience likes to wear some clothes? I think you're about right. So guess what? You're wearing right now more than 10,000 liters of water. I started really like, what? Panicking? And I panicked even more when I saw this. I usually understood water as being liquid, and by liquid water I mean the water that you use to prepare your coffee, to shower, brush your teeth. And the normal value in Europe for a daily consumption of a person is 160 liters. But when it comes to consider all the hidden water that is there in every single product you need, you use, it has needed some water to be produced, you need then 5,000 liters of water a day. What does this mean? that you go from 160 to 5,000. So, coming back to the napkin dilemma, right? I'm not going to tell you which color of napkin to use. I'm not going to tell you which style to use. I think that's a very personal decision. But I'm going to give you an advice. An advice that took me 30 years, several countries, and a couple of degrees to understand care about the hidden water that is embedded in every solid stuff. So, but when you talk about the material, I would really give you the advice to go for clothes. That's reusable material. You can use it all the time. And with clothes, you can even save five times more water than if you keep using paper. So, I will need to put this here. This is a paper napkin. It's a single-use paper napkin. When you do this and throw it away to the garbage, you are just wasting 10, 20, even more liters of water every time you do this. So, please go reusable and even better, if you eat a bit with manners and a bit appropriate, you wouldn't need anyone. So, dilemma solved. Thank you very much.